I like how you mentioned that you don't always have to be like them, and it's more so the people that pave the way for you. Yeah. So I, I yep, like that a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. And the people that that really and bring a different perspective for you. Mm -hmm. And so if you can learn from that, then that's something to aspire to as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ashley McFarland. Hi, I'm Sally Edwards. Hi, I'm Emily Gray, and this is Courage in Leadership. So how do each of you define like your success? I, I don't always think success can be measured, you know what I mean? I, that's just kind of how I view it. But um, for me, I think success is like, in terms of soccer and my journey that I'm on right now, is um, just reaching many goals along the way. Uh, the journey is super long, and hopefully it's even longer for me. But yeah, it's just achieving little goals along the way and um, just continuing to enjoy what you do. I'm sure it's the same for you. Absolutely, and I love that you use the word journey, right? Because a lot of times we think about success as we're trying to achieve a number or make a, mm -hmm. a certain mark, and it really is along the way. I think of it as, and it is internal. Like if you can define your success internally instead of what external measures of what success is supposed to look like, yeah. right? And so um, I think those along the way, if you know what it feels like to you when you're making positive impact mm -hmm. and what that impact is in the most. So sometimes it's with creating opportunities for other people. Sometimes you really are trying to make a mark or win a game. Um, so it's gonna look different at so many different times in yeah. your life. Um, and as long as you feel like you are making a contribution and a positive impact with what you're doing, then that to me feels successful. Well, growing up, who was like your role model and who like inspired you to get to the place where you are today? You know, you think sometimes role models are people you're aspiring to be like and who might be like you. And I guess my parent, my grandparents, my parents too, but my grandparents were really my earliest and longest role models, but um, they created for me this sense of adventure and learning about the world and always having your eyes wide open. Um, and so, yeah, my grandparents in that sense were great role models for me too. Absolutely. I like how you mentioned that you don't always have to be like them and it's more so the people that paved the way for you. Yeah. So I, I yep, like that a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. And the people that, that really and bring a different perspective for you. Mm -hmm. And so if you can learn from that, then that's something to aspire to as well. Yeah. So you both have so much more of the journey to go. So where do you want to go from here? That's, that's a tough one because I'm kind of just entering this mm -hmm. new phase of my life. Um, so right now I'm just focused on taking everything in one day at a time. Uh, you know, as a little girl I've always wanted to be on the full national team, so that's still in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I've also, along this path, like through college at Virginia Tech, I made sure I focused on not, you know, non-soccer on the field career opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I like to continue doing that while I'm playing. Um, whether it be coaching, um, I, I interned at the Philadelphia Union last summer, so I would like to just explore as many things so that as, when I do hang out my cleats, I'm ready for that. So. Yeah. So I appreciate you comparing where we are in our journey because <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little further along. Um, but so when I think about where I am in my journey, and I had a great professor in business school who um, was Australian. So again, I kind of like this global perspective, don't mm -hmm. I? Um, but he shared and I learned then these different phases of your career and that you sort of know it when you get to a point in your career where you're most motivated and driven by what you can share and create for others. So you sort of get off of this thinking like you're supposed to maybe achieve the next rung and instead it's really more about you, you hit this pivot where you start thinking about how you can pave the way, create pathways, share what you've learned. So I loved having this opportunity today because I think that's where I am in my, in my journey and in my career. Yeah. Yeah.